On April 6, 1538, a Spanish explorer by the name of Hernando de Soto set sail for the Spanish territory of La Florida. After stopping in Cuba until May 18, 1539, de Soto finally made his way to Florida. On May 25, 1539, de Soto made landfall near modern-day Tampa Bay. De Soto arrived on five large vessels and four smaller ones, with around 600 to 700 men. De Soto also brought along priests, women, horses, pigs, and war dogs. On July 15, 1539, De Soto started the trek inland. De Soto moved his way up Florida near the Zephyr Hills until he reached the Withlacoochee River. After crossing the Withlacoochee River, by July 29, 1539, De Soto settled at the Tamuquin Indian province of Ocali, near the modern-day Ocala. During his stay in Ocali, De Soto hoped to find the riches he had heard from past stories but was unable to find any. Many minor battles were fought with the natives during his stay. The chief of Ocali appeared before the Spanish and promised to build a bridge over a nearby river, which was presumed to be the Silver River, but as the Spanish arrived to select a spot, they were ambushed by the natives. Spanish presence can still be seen in the river today as there is a sunken rowboat from the time of De Soto. The Spanish rowboat can be seen under a fallen cypress tree and has been preserved well. Other natural treasures can be seen in the river such as manatees, alligators, and the world famous springs. On August 11th, De Soto headed north towards the land of the Appalachee. De Soto would fight two major battles, one near the present-day Live Oak and the other near Tallahassee, where he would camp for the winter. In March of 1540, De Soto left Florida for good. He crossed into Georgia where he encountered many small tribes. By May, De Soto had already crossed into South Carolina as nothing valuable to him could be found in Georgia. The same can be said for South Carolina as he had moved into North Carolina by the end of May. De Soto then traveled across the Smoky Mountains through the month of June and by mid-July made his way back down to modern-day Cartersville, Georgia. At the end of August, De Soto crossed into Alabama, and by the end of October, they reached the modern-day town of Selma. While in Alabama, thousands of native warriors attacked De Soto, but the Spanish only lost 29 men. De Soto decided to rest his men until mid-November before moving on. During the winter of 1540 to 1541, De Soto rested his men in Mississippi. By May 21, 1541, De Soto reached the banks of the Mississippi River, and by June, him and his men became the first Europeans to cross this landmark. After briefly scouting Arkansas, De Soto and his men moved into Louisiana, where he fell ill and died on May 21, 1542, exactly one year after he reached the Mississippi River. De Soto's journey covered almost 4,000 miles and crossed boundaries of 10 present-day U.S. states. Although a permanent Spanish settlement was never found or the goal of finding gold was accomplished, De Soto and his crew became the first Europeans to cross the Mississippi River, a physical barrier broken.